Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. I have, as those who are regular followers of this channel know, lived in Dubai for a while now, uh, for at least part of the year, and I'm originally Canadian, so I grew up and spent a lot of time in Canada, and ultimately left and lived in a bunch of other places as well. Now, I was noticing a kind of difference in feeling between the two countries, especially now and especially increasingly, and it's kind of bizarre, so I wanted to take a moment to share with you what these experiences were, the difference in feeling between living in Dubai versus living in Canada, and where I think that comes from is those kind of a different perspective that I don't hear people talking about between the two countries, and these may weigh into you know where you choose to live. So let's dive in. Before we do, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell. Thank you for subscribing. If you'd like help with relocating abroad, paying the lowest legal amount of tax possible, international tax planning, setting up your business abroad, getting residencies, citizenships, etc. Please reach out to us. You can book a call, calendly.com forward slash michael-rosmer, link in the description below, or send a message to our websites, offshorecitizen.net and offshorecapitalist.com. Okay, so here's the, the difference. In UAE, you are effectively living in an apparently authoritarian regime. What I mean by this is, I mean, it's like a monarchy, it's like an absolute monarchy. In theory, they can do whatever they want, they have absolute power. In Canada, you supposedly live in a democracy. Uh, constitutional monarchy is probably more accurate, representational, uh, but anyway. And, you know, there you supposedly have all these rights. And yet, in spite of this, I pretty much always feel much freer, there's a couple exceptions, but pretty much always feel freer living in Dubai than I do in Canada. And I feel uh, more oppressed in Canada than I do in Dubai. And this is kind of the exact opposite of what you would think by the books, right? So I was reflecting on it and thinking, like, what's, what's going on here? There's a very interesting mental model which postulates that a government is essentially an institution that provides protection services at the basic level. And therefore, if you were to lay out, okay, we have an institution with protection services, then in that institution, in any typical institution, you have essentially three roles. We have proprietors, you have employees, you have customers. And the question is, in, let's say, a democracy, what are you? And from this framework, I can kind of interestingly denote a difference in how I feel in Dubai. So in Dubai, I feel like a customer. So if you just think about it, how is it in the case of a customer? A customer technically doesn't actually have a lot of authority, right? The business can be free to you know, not serve them, say, hey, listen, you're excluded, etc. You don't have decision-making powers, etc. But there's also this, the customer is always right. The objective is to attract the customers and you want to be in a situation where uh, you build things. Basically, everything is built for the customers. And that's an interesting paradigm. That is basically how I feel in Dubai. I think if you were to come to Dubai, you would likely experience it. I mean, look, it's a big tourist hub. And that feeling tends to extend to living in the country as well. Now, be aware, it is worth noting that you know I benefit, no matter where I am, from being in the top one plus percent. Uh, of the population. So that's somewhat different and I will touch on that in a second. When I am in Canada, I feel much more like a resource to be extracted. And you could liken this to more like being an employee of the state, right? That uh, essentially I should be grateful for what is given to me and they expect things of me, which is different in UAE. In UAE it's almost like very little is expected of you per se. It's not like there's something to extract from you. It's more of, hey, listen, we have rules and you have to follow those rules, which are, you know, just like, say you were to go into a restaurant, right? You're not allowed to walk in naked. You can't be disruptively loud. You, you know, obviously they have their own rules, but that kind of makes sense. And then I'm getting something in exchange. As opposed to over here, I feel like they're kind of entitled to me or that's their sense, and, or at least that's the sense that I feel projected on me. Maybe it's inaccurate, maybe it's not. And therefore, you know, I have to do things. And if I don't do things, there's going to be consequences. And I should be grateful for, you know, the fact that I'm given this great opportunity to be an employee of this state, which I didn't really sign up for. Now, 
What about, and a friend asked me this, he said, do you think that it's better to be poor in Canada and rich in Dubai? And that's kind of the difference that you experience. Now that's definitely the Western narrative, right? The Western narrative is essentially that they have this better safety net and things are great. I think that this is largely a fallacy. So let's just talk about some simple examples. Go to downtown Vancouver to East Hastings Street. You will experience a level of human misery which does not exist in Dubai. Things are far, far worse for people in that situation than they are in Dubai. Like it simply does not exist. I took my wife from Eastern Europe there and she was appalled. She could not believe that something like that existed in a country like Canada. It's existed for decades and has arguably gotten worse. So this idea that, you know, hey, there's this base level of protection, I don't think is necessarily true. And you can go to lots of different places. You go to every major city and you're going to find there's a bad place, a bad area of town where people are poor and life is pretty miserable. It's not any better than being poor in Dubai. In fact, arguably it's worse. You can go out to native Indian reserves. A lot of them are horrific. It's terrible. It's not a great thing. And so does Canada really provide this protection for the poor and you know, okay, great. You just can't sink too far, et cetera. Uh -huh. Not necessarily. By contrast, let's look at the base level in Dubai. So it's certainly true that there's a lot of people in Dubai who live on very little money, but what's the situation in Dubai? Well, you basically can't be in Dubai if you're not working. Uh, the Emiratis are very well taken care of, okay? So that's a whole other thing. But for people who come as foreigners, uh, there are people who work for very little money. Uh, their working conditions are certainly not good. And, uh, you know, what's the deal though? Well, they're guaranteed, they have a job, right? Because if you don't have a job, they just send you back to your home country. So then that's not there. Uh, you're going to have housing, you're going to have food. So like your base level in Dubai actually isn't really that low. Now, what you don't have are certain of the legislative protections within the workplace, right? So if we think about workplace safety, uh, just, you know, how people are treated the base standards in that regard, Canada certainly has higher standards than Dubai has. This is true. Now, a lot of the ideas that people have about Dubai are a little bit outdated. They've been working on improving that. Uh, but it certainly still is not at the same level. So there is that to consider. On the other hand, let's think about being somebody who's just normal middle-class person working in Dubai. Is it worse in Dubai than in Canada? Uh, no, I, I would argue that it's not at all. You can see if you go and just you're like a normal person who's making a normal salary living in Vancouver or Toronto, what are you going to find? Probably the person has a hard time getting by. They're living close to paycheck to paycheck. They make some money and it's mostly consumed by high cost of living, comparable to Dubai, different places that it may show up, but more or less comparable to Dubai. Some cases higher, maybe some cases a little bit lower. And that's that. Really, the government does not provide, or the country, the system does not do a good job of providing a higher quality of life for those people in Canada than in Dubai. On the other hand, if we fast forward to kind of like retirement age, uh, you know, certainly it is true that Canada has Canada Pension Plan, Old Age Security, uh, and there's socialized health care. So this is a bit more of a safety net on that end than Dubai has. Dubai just doesn't have that stuff. Uh, in Dubai, you're left to your own means to kind of save for retirement and pay for your private health care, etc. On the other hand, they also don't tax you. So you have a whole bunch and they don't charge you these extra socials. So Although you're left to do it yourself, you're more able to do it yourself than you would be in Canada. In Canada, you have this. On the other hand, it doesn't necessarily work that well. So CPP is basically poverty level. It's incredibly low. You're, I don't know how people could survive on that. It was that as their only thing. Uh, so they're really required to do their own private savings anyway, RSPs, TFSAs, private pensions through work, savings, etc. And the healthcare system is not that great. So it's pretty appalling how long the waits are, it's difficult to get in to see someone, et cetera, versus in one of these other systems, you can be texting with your doctor and you can go in to see them you know, immediately, which is not at all the case in Canada. So a little bit more level of protection for older people there, probably you know, older people should be better taken care of in Canada. And that's handled pretty much privately for foreigners in, uh, in UAE. So anyway, I figured I would give that as kind of a contextual explanation for you to share my experience of it. I feel like essentially like a customer and I think that's generally pretty good. Uh, and it's a little bit different than what people might think of, which is like, 
I think that a lot of people try and liken many uh, like absolute monarchies or uh, authoritarian governments, etc., as being oppressive. And I don't think that that's necessarily the same thing. If you're in a situation where you're treated as a customer, that's quite different than if you're treated as uh, like a resource to be extracted. And I feel like they treat us more like a resource to be extracted in Canada. Uh, and so even though it's you know technically more, you have more checks and balances, et cetera, the overall feeling doesn't come across as being uh, particularly great, in fact, arguably worse than in UAE. So that's my personal experience. Other people might have totally different experiences. Would love to hear yours. Put them in the comments below. And if you would like help with, again, relocating or any of these sorts of things, please reach out to us. And I will see you on the next video.